This episode of Redonkless.com is brought to you by Aaron Clary and his book Worthless. Links below in the description. So you feminists out there, you're like, I don't need a man. I can be alone. Well, if you keep that mindset, <laughs> you're gonna wind up a crone. Stereotypes exist for a reason. And every neighborhood has the crazy cat lady. And she's OPP, old, poor, and powerless. And if your neighborhood doesn't have one of those crazy cat ladies, <laughs> tag, you're it. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. I know ladies, you think you have all this time in the world to find a sucker to knock you up so you can drain him of all his money. <laughs> but bad news for you, there's only so many eggs on the conveyor belt before the factory shuts down. And we're gonna have to take a menopause because I spelled it menopause and uh, I have dyslexia if you don't like it, f*** off. I don't know. You can google menopause and it usually it's between 38 and 52. Some women get it early like 33, 35. The earlier you jump on the tampon train, the faster you go all the way to the scene of the crash. That train's gonna derail and go right into a ditch just like your mind at work. And if you didn't get that joke, check out the episode, Dichotomy Sodomy. <laughs> this next one, whew, I think it got hot in here. Or maybe it just got dark in here. We're gonna start getting them hot flashes. We're gonna come on kind of subtle at first. Turn on the heat, it's hot as hell in here. Yeah, man, but it's a dry heat. And get ready, cause those nights are coming. When you kick off the sheets, you're gonna have to kick off the cats. So they don't suck up all that sweat and stink up your house. You know a woman's getting into menopause when you go into her abode and it smells like a mix of rotten crotch and cat food. Ugh. Now men deal with this a lot. It's called hair loss. Now men think they have the monopoly on this because it starts in as early as like 15. Some dudes can pull off the bald look and they're fine. But ladies, when you lose your hair, not so funny, not so attractive. You don't really hear about people wanting to bang the female Patrick Stewart, just saying. When you're 45 and you like got the hair halo going on, you're f***ed. Just shave it, man. Don't do the mullet or have the pigtail in the back or the comb over because you look like an idiot. Listen, when you got the fryer tuck going on and you let the hair grow on your back, we call that the bullet because anyone who sees it is going to be begging for one. The next one I call zigzag hag and that's when they get those crazy eyebrow hairs that go in every direction let me tell you that is just nasty a lot of men get this and it's pretty reprehensible so i want you to imagine what that looks like on a woman what the fuck, 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 fuck. looks like two caterpillars on your face edit that out and you social justice caterpillar enthusiasts i'm triggered if you're offended suck it Winning. You're gonna notice when this happens, you're gonna fatigue easily. So you better hit that gym and learn how to swim. Ladies, you get tired going up one flight of stairs? Guess what? You're a Wamalo in training. You're already there, so you might as well buy the two boxes of Twinkies, lick them all, and stick them on your ass. Fat shamer! Yep, I don't give a f about that at all. Edit that out. And anyone who's seen the old Italian grandma or the Spanish grandma, you can see that hair lip going on. And that starts happening to you. And it looks like a leg of a tarantula just jump around on your lip. So when people talk to you, they just stare at it. It replaces tits. Yeah. Normally dudes are like, yeah, those are nice some fun bags right there. But when they have a hair lip, you kind of go, oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Your name was Harriet? No, it's Dolores. Stop staring at it. Well, that's good because I was going to call you Cuban Pete. And you're going to notice, you eat the same stuff, but you're gaining weight. You reached into that bag of Doritos and you pulled out a pin. Because you know what just happened? You pulled the pin on the fat grenade. Check out the episode. When this starts happening, if you don't do anything about it, it's inevitable you're gonna wind up with a bad case of Tyrannosaurus rexitis. You'll be stomping around town, doing the People running away, you'll be knocking down buildings and throwing back the calories. Haha, <laughs> what do you know? And now everybody, we're gonna talk about another subject. Nipple sensitivity. We dudes know that you love getting the dials and pegs twisted. But guess what, when you reach this age, it's like hitting a flashlight. Sometimes it comes on and sometimes it don't. It's kind of like watching old TV. It's not coming in right. You're messing with the antenna, standing on one foot. Maybe you hit the TV. You might get to see the episode, but yet again, you might not. And to all you f**ks out there, you and the guy behind you who keep ruining the Walking Dead episodes that come out, f you, edit that out. As if selective memory with women wasn't already a problem, they start to get forgetfulness. So guess what? They make three rights and go in a goddamn circle because they're stupid. I already know you uh, forgot what I said, so just rewind it because I'm not repeating myself, bitches. It does come in handy when I need to borrow money. Anyone who's familiar with the bipolar syndrome knows you have the super lows 
and the super highs and nothing really in between. So when it comes to their sex drive, they're either a bucket of sand or they can lube up a water slide all the way down to the pool. All right, I know a lot of women are getting mad at me because I'm gonna pull this joke, but if sex hurts because it's too dry, you're gonna need something more than KY or Astroglide. You're gonna need lubricant. They work, and you can drive a Cadillac into a doghouse. That's just for entry. You wanna stay there? You need lubricant. Here's another name for some lubricant. Cobweb clearance, so get them all away so you can get in there. If you wanna order a one year supply of lubricant, call 1-800-GIVE-A-SHIT, because we don't give a f it's only 69 cents a minute. You want to pay 71 cents a minute, you get the shocker. You go to the produce aisle and you're picking up some apples and you happen to look up and you see a woman with a moo moo in her flippers and rollers in her hair. And you go, that woman has quit the world. And this happens because they know it's done. The game is over. And all you college age feminists out there, you better take some goddamn good notes and quit your goddamn majors that don't pay any money because guess what, 20 years from now, that's gonna be you. Here's another good one. You wake up in pools of sweat because you've had too many hot flashes while you're asleep. If this starts to happen and you try to hide it from your husband, listen, he knows the deal. He'll probably be cool with it because he's locked in. By this age, the dudes are going through their own shit. And the little soldier isn't at attention in the morning while he's brushing his teeth. And sometimes it doesn't happen that often at all. And guess what, spoiler alert, he'll probably be supportive. Not that it matters for you stupid feminist bitches who filed before 35 for divorce, because guess what? You're gonna be going through this shit alone. You'll be sitting on the couch, scratching your back, picking your nose, and pull out your debit card to go buy more calories at Walmart, you fat wamalo. And you're gonna need all that credit to purchase all that Vagicil and Monistat because your vag is gonna turn into a yeast farm. Winning. Yeah. But it's not all bad news, ladies. <laughs> you can save that vag yeast and brew your own beer. <laughs> How horrid is that? I won't even touch a drop of that shit. Oh my God. I am in shock. I cannot believe how violent that is. Horrible. <laughs> and you're gonna need those stock options from your Monistat brewery to purchase all that Excedrin for the migraines you're gonna get. <laughs> what do you know? And I'm gonna tell you this right now. I get migraines and they suck. That uh, might all shit for migraine, that works pretty good. I just get with about that all the time. Like, what are you, some kind of woman? That's a woman medication. What are you on, your period? Uh, no, but would you like to bleed? Guess what's gonna set in next? Depression. And right behind that is Nar Bipole Magistic. You burned up your youth, and you're alone, and you're tore up, and you hit the wall. All that's left is like your cats and food stamps. I don't have a lick of sympathy for most of you because you did it to yourself. Check out the divorce stats. <laughs> Having migraine headaches and sleeping in pools of sweat tends to lead to something called insomnia, and that sucks. One third of your time on this planet is spent asleep. So if you can use some of that time to do something productive, do it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the results of my insomnia and craziness. Winning. You're gonna get a relapse of puberty because your hormones are all fucked up at a 10 out. And you're gonna get zits and bumps and pimples. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't take my advice, check this out. <laughs> Cause this is what happens when you're over 40 and you get zits. No, God, please, no, 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 no! So ladies, when you wake up in the morning and you notice you're in a pool of sweat, take a shower, it pays dividends. The bright side is, is you can use some of that time in the shower to scrape off some yeast for your beer business. Ah! You don't know what you want, but you get mad when you don't get it. What is up with that shit? Same old shit, different day. So you're having a relapse of puberty and you're going back to the terrible twos. <laughs> Guess what? I'm gonna watch some space ghosts and you can ride it into the scene of the crash yourself. Hypothetically, if you were married at this stage, the dude's not really gonna check out, but you could probably expect him to spend a lot of time at the bar. <laughs> There's another thing out there that happens to women that explains all of these symptoms. <laughs> One got slipped by the goalie, and you are pregnant. Good luck. If you're over 38 years old or 40, probably unlikely. Check out Fun With Numbers 1 and 2 and check your fertility windows. And while we're talking about windows, you might want to keep ears open, because guess what? <laughs> it's hot in here. And with that, we need to pull over, because I need to get out and take a piss on the road to Chromedom. <laughs> Winning! And if you enjoyed this episode, you're going to love this book called Worthless. Check out the links below that go to Amazon.com. It's a good book. 
And after you get the book, if you have any change left, check out our links below our Patreon PayPal. Send us a few bucks so we can keep doing this. Or you can hit the subscribe button and I'll send you a case of that vaginal beer. Oh, ah. <laughs> That's so fucking nasty. Holy shit, I, you just ruined my whole day. <laughs>